Hello everyone. Um, how's you doing? I guess you're doing very well and staying home and staying safe. So uh, I have uploaded uh, last two videos about to uh, combustion, and especially the last video I talked about combustion actually, and we try to figure out that the speed of combustion and the stages of combustion. Uh, as per Mr. Richard, the father of engine research. Uh, as to his theory and engine combustion theory, we have come to know we come to know that uh, there are three states that take places in combustion process. So uh, I wanna I wanna just uh, have a rewind of that thing. Last day, I'm sorry. In last video, we tried to understand this diagram over here, and we can see that actually the this one is a compression line and the point of ignition that the ignition occurs in um, in part so from this point of this curve and from to this to this point the difference is that ignition lag that the point uh, that combustion actually start to you know start to um, actually the combustion occurs from this uh, point and from the point of ignition and up to the point of combustion, actually, combustion starts actually at this point. The difference here is called ignition lag, and if the ignition lag is very much, then the combustion will be also delayed, and also the pressure, the potential shield pressure that can inside the cylinder can that can have that, uh, it will not able to give that because of the ignition lag. If it's increased, then that's mean the there will be much more delay so that's why the peak pressure and the temperature and pressure there will be heat losses and losses of pressure also so at somehow if we can speed up the uh, the speed of combustion actually or the speed of nucleus uh, nucleus flame uh, self-propagation that is that is the objective that um, I think every engineers do to increase the um, speed of uh, flame propagation actually so today we will talk about the factors that affect this speed of combustion actually the main thing is that if I want to just try to clear again is that uh, we tried to figure it out last video that the combustion speed is dependent on uh, the ignition lag and the self propagation stage if if these things are uh, happening faster and within a very short time that you can have a more efficient combustion uh, that's mean more uh, uh, more uh, hitting value more pressure and that's been more torque and ultimately efficient engine output so the main thing is that if you can increase the speed of uh, flame propagation that's mean that we can have a better combustion and thus a better efficiency so we will talk about that which factors are gonna you know affect that speed of flame propagation and the three states that we talked about in the last video so the first one as you can see that air fuel ratio here I want to just take some time to make you understand this thing air and fuel ratio more precisely saying the ratio between oxygen and the hydrocarbon of the fuel so I can write here hydrocarbon to oxygen so uh, typically, it, is a, it has been said that the stoichiometric ratio, I mean the standard ratio is 1 is to 14.5 and it's actually very, uh, you know, very, okay. So, in this ignition limit, we can see that um, there's uh, actually, ignition can have out of this scale and the stoichiometric ratio, uh, the stoichiometric ratio just, you know, lying actually here. In the middle of the practical limit of ignition limit scale or whatever you say so uh, the air fuel ratio has a great impact on the speed of flame actually that take places in combustion uh, and we have to know that how actually this happens if uh, if you have too rich mixture then your uh, speed of flame propagation is not gonna happen in also, 
it is true for tooling uh, mixture. So you you should have a good uh, um, uh, fill ratio, and that is what if it is, has been said that the faster for any hydrocarbon fuel, for the faster the speed of uh, flame can achieve ten percent richer mixture uh, from your stack capital ratio. So if we <clears throat> if we just look at this. Um, Diagram over here, um, the air fill ratio and the diagram here, the PV and the P alpha. Alpha means the crank angle here, and PV and pressure is being in volume as you have studied already in physics and mechanics and so on. So, if you look at and concentrate on this diagram, we can see the the, uh, the nature of air fill ratio that affects the speed of uh, uh, inside the cylinder effects on, on pressure and ultimately the, the the effect on the flame speed. So here you can see that this line in the constant volume as it is uh, a theoretical diagram over here. So consider this in a constant volume, you can see the pressure increasing and this curve is denoting the richer mixture. That means the 10% richer mixture. As I've said that any hydrocarbon fuel can have maximum, maximum speed at its 10% rich mixture than the stoic image of ones. So this carb denote um, represents the 10% uh, more rich, richer mixture. And for that thing, if you have a richer mixture in your engine, not too much actually, uh, I've already mentioned 10%. So you will have a better pressure here. So why better pressure? Because the flame propagation, um, you know, took within a short time as because there is a richer mixture there and and for stoichiometric ratio you can have actually um, less pressure if you uh, if you have a stoichiometric ratio that's mean 1 is to 15 or 1 is to 14.5 whatever it is the standard one and if you have a lean mixture you can technically you can see that there's very low pressure that you can build inside the cylinder so that's how the richer and the lean mixture can affect on your um, your flame propagation or the speed of combustion actually. So technically, in the end of the day, we can say that the richer mixture means that's be ten percent richer mixture means that you can have a better combustion speed and thus better pressure and efficiency. So if you look if we look at this diagram over here, that the pressure and uh, crank angle here, the TDC line. So, uh, for rich mixture, you can see that the pressure is increasing as well as the um, crank angle is also increasing here. And after TDC, after TDC, the richer mixture have the peak, um, the peak pressure over here. And for stoichiometric ratio, we can see that the curve is quite lesser, and you know the height of the Carb is not so much, so that means it is not creating much pressure than this one. And for weak compression, it is very low. This one is the weak compression, and compression but no ignition can have much pressure that is very logical. So uh, I hope you understand the effect of air fuel ratio that affects um, uh, combustion speed that we can actually uh, read or we can actually. Um, um, you know, uh, actually portrayed that w with this diagram. So air field ratio have a great impact on that. And right now, going to the second um, uh, second factor is that the compression ratio. So what is compression ratio? We all know that it's very simple. The ratio between uh, the total volume and the clearance volume. So amps. So that's why. Meanwhile, I, I gotta have to uh, make you remember that. If you are watching this video, you, you need to have basic knowledge on um, engines and engine terminology. Without that thing, you can't actually understand whether you will get frustrated. So whatever, it's not a problem. So, um, you can have a basic idea on engine, then you can actually understand that. So uh, the compression ratio, as I've said, that the total volume and the clearance volume and... <clears throat> The ratio is called the compression ratio actually so if you have good compression ratio then you can have a better 
flame speed. So we are actually talking about this, all about speed of the combustion. So you, you're going to have a um, good speed of combustion if you have a higher compression, not much higher, actually the higher compression ratio. Because why higher compression ratio, what it does actually, it actually decreases the concentration of the residual gases like NOx and other residual gases there. So also it increases the area to volume uh, ratio. So what it is actually, if you have a good compression ratio, then you have a um, longer um, trouble, uh, longer trouble distance of the pistons and you can have much more time to um, you can have much more time to complete combustions and also you have a higher density in your combustion chamber so for higher density technically you can increase your area to volume surface and that's what gonna make this combustion very very faster and and what it is the the most important thing is that it's gonna never let you to uh, concentrate more and more residual gases that's mean you can have a much more faster combustion process inside your cylinder so the compression ratio is very important that in that sense and the third one is uh, i'm just touching on the brief one here uh, and the third one is that a loaded engine so loaded engine is typically what a load is man if you actually can have a good throttle that's mean uh your engine is up your engine output is actually uh, giving you know, and technically actually in generally in general terms if you uh, press your car accelerator accelerator more then your car will go faster so that's why load an engine means if you increase the load an engine you can have a, a faster com uh, uh, combustion uh, speed on, 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 on that actually varying that thing so load an engine will increase your combustion uh, speed and uh, the fourth one is the turbulence as you can see here the turbulence here is what actually is very important turbulence is mean um, what should I say the uh, end of the compression stroke there the airflow mixture that uh, actually um, you know uh, have unsteady flow so inside the cylinder the compression uh, after compression um, stroke there the air fill ratio have unsteady flow so that's what you know um, makes and prepare good mixture of air fill uh, mixture there and also the important thing is that that increases the heat the coefficient of heat transfer and that is why actually uh, it increases the um, com combustion speed or uh, precisely if I say uh, the self-propagation of the flame so that's why turbulence is very important and other factors that actually affects the um, combustion speed is like supercharging or turbocharging or actually increasing or advancing the time, spark time and um, I'm sorry that I skip one diagram over here According to compression ratio, we can actually can or can have a look on compression ratio diagram over here with the crank angle. If you see that the effect of higher compression ratio that actually can take place inside the cylinder is that you, know, you have same curve that we have discussed over here about the air fill ratio. That if you have a more uh, higher compression ratio over here if you say 1 is to 6 here that is the higher compression ratio so you have a more pressure here so more pressure why more pressure because it's create increase more temperature and as because it's increased more temperature than the ignition lag that we have studied last video is very very low because it's faster the flame propagation so that's why the pressure increases and if we see that this curve is denoting the compression ratio of 1 is to 5 and that means this have a lower pressure and this one is also lower pressure the main the important thing is that um, you know changing the compression ratio but with the same crank angle and the same advanced timing uh, they have a different effect of on pressure only depending on the very the only variable here is the, uh, the compression ratio but they all things are constant here 
So that's why we can say that the compression ratio is very, very important uh, factor to actually fluctuate the flame speed there. So today's video is all about a, a very brief touching of these factors. And next videos, in, in, in upcoming videos, outline I'll, I'll try to explain it very um, um, I will try to explain it with uh, uh, how to say that actually I'm not getting a word I will actually explain this better and we will um, jump into the deep uh, in the ocean of uh, uh, of combustion theory in the upcoming videos so till then stay safe and stay home and please Keep supporting me and subscribe me and your constructive comments will make my video better and don't forget to do that. So till then, stay safe and stay home.